Hey there, Virgo. Hope you guys' this weekend is treating you guys well. Last weekend of 2023. This year has went by pretty quick. I am thankful for all the lessons I have learned. I'm thankful for all the new people that have come my way. I'm definitely thankful for you guys. Year 2024, guys. It is the year, if you add 2024 together, it, it equals an 8. So that is the year of karma. This is the year of reaping all the good rewards and the hard work that we've done. And then not so good for the ones who have been putting bad out there. So, you know, it, it's, it's karma's coming next year. Yeah, it's just expect for some people to get hit with some things in their life. And do not try to save these people, guys. You can't save them. All right, Virgo, let's find out what the last message of 2023 is for you guys, man. It's from my beautiful sign of Virgo. This is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Virgo. Tell me about Virgo, please. Virgo. All right. Somebody stressing. Passion. Somebody's worse. Somebody is stressed out that you are sleeping with someone else, passionate about someone else here. A little person can't stop spying and keep keeping a close eye on you, man. Somebody's a heavy cigarette smoker. Those persons contemplating towards you. Those persons like they won't stop watching you. This is the same energy that I've been picking up for you on you guys for a while now. They still watching you. Give them a show. What's the overall energy for Virgo? Oh. Yeah, I felt that. A little person's a jerk, man. Is this somebody that's very envious? Ooh, this is somebody that's envious of you because this person sees that you've went through a lot of challenges in your life and you've overcome them. Every single time you come out beautifully at the end and they are so envious of you because of that. This person tried to put challenges in your path and again, you overhurdled them with grace and they're like, how the hell did Virgo do that? <laughs> well, Virgo knows how to do some things. So learn the lesson. Here, follow me, won't you learn from me type stuff. Okay. They envious. This person wants your forgiveness, but they're envious. Make that make sense. This person's envious of you because you forgive them and you move forward. So this is someone that wants to try to come back and get your forgiveness, but with that envy there, do they really mean it? I don't think so. We forget, but we don't forget. This person envies you because you have the capability to forgive people and move forward and not let anybody from your past interrupt the future that's another reason why they're envious so that's part of this person so jealous of you so they're contemplating on coming in here and trying to give you this whole story of trying to get your forgiveness but this is someone that's got malice in their heart guys i don't like that what needs to be surrendered for virgo what is virgo surrendering surrender procrastination now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off Taking action will attract success. So there very well is something here that you're wanting to do for yourself. Some of you guys have already went through these challenges. You know, again, if more challenges are put in your path, you overcome them with grace. You have been taking that, that staircase, we'll call it. You've been going step by step, trusting the process, not knowing where you're going, but trusting in it. This person wants to try to come back and procrastinate all the work that you've done. This is someone that can no longer keep you procrastinating like they were when you guys were connected. And that's another reason they're envious. Some of you guys have already headed towards your success. And this person's not doing good in life. And they want to pull you back down and put you in this procrastination energy again. Don't let them do that. This is someone that would say and do the bare minimum. But give you just enough to where you had enough hope that something would change and nothing never changed. And now they're envious because you're moving away from them. Because you're not falling for the bull crap anymore. Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Exactly. Also somebody that wanted you to be lacking, you know, doubting yourself, being in a lack mindset. They didn't want you to see your worth. You're this beautiful person that has so much potential and they wanted to take that from you. So everything that this person said about you is how they feel about themselves. It's a projection, guys. This person has severe low self-esteem and they want you to feel the same way. No, that's another reason this person's envious because you're working on yourself and you're not staying in that low vibing energy with them anymore. This person's dark, so they want you to feel dark. Virgo. 
Look at you taking care of yourself. Your body is a temple. So this is about you making wise choices for yourself. You could be exercising, eating different, stopping habits. If you smoke cigarettes, drink, this is you stopping all of that. That's another reason they're envious because you're bettering yourself. This is also about not transferring this energy with this person either. A lot of you guys could be practicing abstinence right now. And they're envious about that because they can't get in there and sleep with you. So this person's pissed off that you want to take care of yourself. That's Make that make sense. They're disgusting. This person's not a good person. Sound healing. My voice has power. I use it to improve the well-being of myself and others. So something about your beautiful voice. You could be a singer. You could be in the public eye talking. But your voice is very soothing, okay? Something about when you are out in public and you're speaking, like people gravitate towards you. And that's another reason this person was envious because you know how to attract people towards you, okay? And they, they can't. They don't got that in them. And they want to try to take that from you. They want anybody new coming towards you. So this person knows you're a catch and they know that someone else is going to come in here for you. Something about you using your voice and speaking up, okay, is, is you're meant to inspire people with your voice, okay? This person doesn't want you to have a, to speak up for yourself. They didn't want you to tell your side of something here. All right, tell me about this distressed person. This person's so stressed out that they can't stress you out anymore. Tell me about this. Tell me about distressed. Oh, yeah, the sun. Something here about this person trying to come back in here and offer you this cup. And this person's so stressed out thinking about you. Try to cover that. I drew an outfit on there, and it kind of faded off. But this person is trying to figure out how to get you back in this, this energy of taking their cup of love back. But something about you illuminating this person's um, true nature, thats that makes them envious. They stressed out because they see your happiness. They're stressed out, worried about new people coming towards you. You guys could be having new love offers or just offers coming towards you that emotionally fulfill you. And they are so stressed out because of this. This person's trying to figure out how to get you back in their, their, gr their grasp. Okay? Something here about the way your life is is stressing this person out. They're definitely seeing you in this joyful, happy energy. It's They stressed. Stressed out about your money, these new these new offers coming towards you, offers of loyalty, stability, offers with finances, careers on the rise here. They're stressed out about that. This person's trying to figure out the right way to come in here and offer you this back. They want to, to appear like they've got their emotions together. They want the loyalty, the stability like you. This is one envious person that's going to try every angle to get back at you guys. The devil, man. The, the devil works through this person. This is somebody that wanted you in this low vibing energy. And for a lot of you, they had you in this, but you pulled yourself out of it. That's why they're envious of you too. Okay. This is any somebody trying to trap and bind you. They are so stressed out that you're not falling for their toxic energy anymore. This one see here sees that you're closing out these cycles and you mean business and you're keeping them closed. And they're trying to figure out how to get you to open back up to them. And they are so stressed out, worried about you opening up for new things for yourself. They are pissed off, I'm telling you. This is someone who runs on ego and lust, and they are so stressed out that they lost power over you. They would rather you be freaking out and stressed out and walking on eggshells, and you're not doing that anymore. So it's like, ugh, they're pissed. Very arrogant person, man. Tell me about passion. So this person, sleeping with other people, this is someone who's trying to keep a close eye on you to see if you're sleeping with any of them anybody but I feel like a lot of you guys are practicing abstinence is what this person doesn't understand what about passion king of cups so this person is trying to come in here and try to overrule you with emotions trying to manipulate you okay trying to get you in the bed and try to sleep with you and they think that they can get you where they want you this person doesn't know how you feel because your emotions are very reserved keep doing that because it's making them freak out more they don't get a reaction they get nothing Okay, this is about you being more mature. I'm not saying you're immature. I'm just saying that you have grown when it comes to your feelings and dealing with this person. So keep 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 going towards your growth. Tell me more about passion. This is someone that wants to try to come back here and play the victim. This person has a victim mindset. Okay. This is someone that throws rocks and hides their hands. This is someone that wants to try to come back and act wounded. This is someone that wants you to be wounded. They don't like that you get back up and that you're stronger every time. They, this person's so envious of how you're just, it's like you, you like you fall and you just, you get back up. You're like a cat with 
not even nine lives, like endless supplies of lives that you have. And this person's so envious of you. Like, so this is somebody that did the most by you finding out that they were sleeping around with others. Okay. This person put you through the ringer as well. And it's like, they expected it for you to keep you in this low vibing energy, but you still maintain to rise up. And that's why they're so envious. So their passion, them sleeping around caused an ending, but this is also a catalyst for your growth. Okay. This is about you stepping into this rebirth energy and, and shedding an old version and stepping into a new timeline of yourself. And this person can't, doesn't want to see you step into this, this rebirth. They want to keep you in this, the old stagnant energy that you were in moon. So this is somebody still sleeping around with other people, guys. And this is someone that's trying to come towards you, trying to put these uh, feelings, these emotions, and then trying to sleep with you. This person's got a lot of dark secrets. There's some things about this person that you still don't know about. And um, this person's been keeping a close eye on you, man. They are trying to see who you're talking to, what you're doing, if you're sleeping with anybody. Because this person's sleeping around, so they automatically think that you're doing that. That's their guilty conscience, guys. So, And they are trying to figure out. The, they. This is someone that will start fights with you. This is somebody that wants to try to come towards you quickly. And it's a very fast-moving energy, okay? Don't fight with this person. Give them no reaction because they like reactions. If you fight back with them, they think that you care still. This is someone that takes off. They, they go and they sleep with someone else. They go play the victim. They don't take accountability. They ghost you. And then they see that you're doing better. It's like they, they wanted to keep you control over you while they still went off and did what they did. And they don't like that they lost control over you. So, no. Tell me about spying. So, this is somebody, even if you have this person blocked off, they're, they're spying and watching you some way, somehow, guys. Tell me about spying. They're watching. Look at this. This person's watching you go through your rebirth. Okay? They're watching that your life is taking off and getting calmer. You're getting out of the, the rough waters that this person or people have put you in. They're watching you be in this rebirth energy. They're watching you transform into this new person. And they are trying to figure out how to get back on your side again. Try, they want to pull you down. This person's not making any growth in their life. So they want to take that from you. This person knows that you're very guarded and very protected. Okay, so they've been keeping a close eye on you. Watching you just gain more stamina. Just moving forward and seeing the heavy protection around you. They see it. Look at that. Look at you guarding yourself. That's beautiful. So you've got some ancestors that don't play about you. Angels, whatever you work with, you've got a very heavy protection around you. That's another reason this person's envious. You're over there sitting on that throne attracting all these beautiful things towards you. Okay? This is about you knowing your worth, having this glow up, and oh, this person's been watching the whole time. Give them a show. This person wanted you to be wrapped in your head, mentally conflicted. Okay? This is someone that wanted to just have you all over the place, and you're not. This is someone that's now worrying, stressing, because they're watching you change your life and it's freaking them out. That's why they're trying to figure out how to present you this offer that you can't refuse. But that's the offer from the devil, man. That's the devil trying to tempt you back in. This is like an opportunist energy. This is somebody that uses people for their selfish gain, guys. So don't let this person try to come back and put you on those chains that you broke free. Because this is a very dark person that I'm picking up on, man. Tell me about contemplation. Tell me about contemplation. Tell me about contemplation. Your third eye is open, and this person knows that. Look at that. Queen of Wands. Jealous. This is someone that does not like that you've taken your power back. This is a very jealous energy. Trying to figure out, trying to figure out how to start some drama and chaos in your life. This person is very wicked, man. This person cannot stand that they've lost control over you, man. Tell me more about contemplation. It's like they're trying to figure out how to start a fight with you. Trying to figure out how to get you to sleep with them. They're trying every angle in their book, man. They want you to pull you back down. Look at that. Seven of Swords. Strategizing. Plotting. Coming up with a whole scheme to try to come up against you, man. This person sees your growth. They see that you're focused on yourself. They see you improving yourself. And they want to get in the way of that. I don't like this person's energy. Not one bit. Not one bit. Continue to keep focusing on yourself. Continue to keep 
doing whatever you need to to make your improve your life, okay? Things materializing for you, your success, your growth, everything is lining up for you. Everything is going in your favor. And this person's pissed off seeing you do better. So they're trying to come back and try to convince you to invest into them still. Don't do it. You guys could be a life past seven, be seeing sevens, like seven, 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 seven is about luck. Your luck changing, guys. You're, you're in this lucky streak. And that's another reason why this person's envious. You have good news in your life. They're, they're hearing it, seeing it. This is someone that's trying to think of the right message to get to you, okay? This is a very immature energy that is pissed off that you're doing better than them. Look at this. This is somebody that trying to, I'm telling you, this person's trying to, to either come up with an argument, some kind of a fight. This person could be trying to pin you up against somebody else, okay? This is a very dark person, man. Drama, chaos follows this person, and they don't like that you're not giving them nothing. Still don't give them nothing. This person could show up to your house. This is somebody that is trying to, to, trying to fight a way back into this connection, whether there's a marriage involved or no marriage involved. This person doesn't like that you've got them blocked off. They want to try to put you in denial still. She's out of the water, so continue to stay grounded. Do not let this person trigger you because they like it. Continue to pull back and heal, okay? Pay this person no mind. This person cannot stand that you have pulled back and that you're working on yourself and you're doing better and they're pissed off about it, man. Whew. I've got Leo, water, water, fire, air, Scorpio, fire, air, earth, and fire here. So that's a jealous person, envious, contemplating. Trying to come back in here and trying to contemplate how to cause you more grief and pain. I don't like this. This person's going to try to come back and play the victim. Try to make you feel bad for them. Going to try to make it seem like they've been uh, reflecting and doing the inner work. They have not. This person's pissed off because you know how to do this. This other person doesn't know how to do this. Okay? They're trying to figure out how to put you back in this energy of longing for them. They don't like that you've pulled your energy back. This person would rather you be disappointed. If you take this person back, they will only disappoint you because they are disappointed with their life, so they want you to be disappointed. Virgo. Virgo. Continue to remain unfazed. I'm telling you, the more unfazed that you get, the more that this person freaks out. N don't mind anything that this person tries to do. They're just immature. Look at that. That's all about you ignoring and just continue to, to remain at peace. Tell me more. It's like a very dark person. Look at you dodging bullets. Blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by the haters. I'm telling you, you're very protected. This person's trying to come back and fix something with sex. Trying to offer you some kind of love offer. This person's worried about you sleeping with other people. This person thinks that sex fixes things. But look at you. You're too busy winning. You could be getting raises, promotions, getting rewards. We're at the end of the year, you know. But this person sees you winning. So continue that. They're trying to figure out how to get you to take them back. They want you missing them. They want you chasing after them and you're not. Tell me more. Well, is this somebody that wants you stuck in your trauma? They want you to be, they don't want you to, to escape the memories of them. This is somebody that's like a damn curse. I just cuss. I didn't mean to cuss. This is somebody that wants to try to haunt you, man. Oof. Love triangle. So trying to, to pin you up against other people. This is somebody that still is entertaining third parties, guys. Some of you guys could be moving. Planning on moving. Relocating here. You're hitting the jackpot. So... Scratch off tickets for somebody. Some of you guys could have got a scratch off ticket during the holidays or you, you're you playing a scratch off. You're going to win, but some kind of inheritance coming towards you. Unexpected money, but you're winning. And this person knows this. This other energy, this other person is in bad habits. Some of you guys could have suffered from bad habits. I know I had addictions, guys. It's part of growing, you know, and I feel like if you guys did suffer from these addictions, you... You've been working on yourself, and that's something else that this person's envious about because they're still stuck in these addictions, and you're taking yourself out of it, and they don't like that. They want you to stay in that energy with them. No. This person's played out. It's round and round and round you go, okay? Over this. Done. They played out. 
And this person's trying to get some kind of screenshots, trying to get some kind of evidence, some kind of proof about your life. Virgo, continue loving yourself. Okay. This person doesn't know how to love themselves. That's why they're pissed off that you're doing it. Tell me more. This person's got some healing work to do. You can't fix them. You can only fix yourself. Something here about a pregnancy scare for somebody. Somebody could have somebody pregnant right now and you not know that. Somebody could try to come in here and get you pregnant. Okay. So you guys could be pregnant with a new person here. There's definitely a pregnancy here for somebody. Some of you guys, some of you guys need to get a restraining order. Some of you guys may have already called the police. A lot of uh, altercations with the police with this person. Okay, some of you guys, this person could be a police officer. Okay, but this is, this person's got some, a run-in with the law, just not doing good with police here. And you've got a masculine here. A masculine trying to come back for you. Some of you guys could be the masculine here. Okay. Somebody doesn't like that you've pulled your power back here. This is someone that takes off and runs away from their problems. This person didn't expect for you to take off and, and do better. This runner is trying to come back for you. This person wants you bumping heads with them. They want you bumping heads with anything in your life. They don't want you doing better. Do not fight with this person. They think that you still care. Give them nothing. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, person's not happy, so they don't want you to be happy. A very bitter person, man. Tell me more. This person's getting readings on you. They're, I'm telling you, this person's trying to pry into your life, trying to gain any type of information about you. Some of you guys could be married to this person, could be getting divorces, child support. This person could be getting traffic tickets, but these scales balancing out, guys. This is a karmic lesson. Okay, some of you guys definitely working out and, and working on your, your body, okay? This person sees you looking good and they're envious of that too. Some of you guys have a side hustle. You could be having more than one stream of income here. Some of you guys, this person sells drugs or does something on the side, like a hustle that's not something where they could get in trouble for, okay? This person doesn't like that you're able to, um, that you can just come up with these ideals and prosper with them. This person's envious because you laid them to rest. And this is someone that thought that they had you down and you rose back up here. And now they're shocked about it, man. I'm telling you, they're seeing your life and they're shocked. And they are definitely watching you from secret accounts, trying to figure out how to get back in your life again, guys. Virgo. I don't think I'm going to try to come back and tell you, oh, it's just a misunderstanding. They play the victim. This is a lost soul that doesn't have no purpose. So they don't want you to have a purpose. They're going to tell you that they made a mistake or they're going to tell you that you've made a mistake by leaving them. You got the clarity about this person already. And this person is trying to find some kind of truth about your life. You're this free spirit. This is about you ready for new things, ready to take these risks, ready to go on new adventures. That's another reason why this person's envious because you've got these endless possibilities lining up for you. Tell me more. Now they want to try to come back and distract you. Distract you from the changes that you're making in your life. Try to just keep you sidetracked from the fact that they ain't doing nothing with their life. They're still doing the same things. Okay? This person's envious that they can't distract you, but they're still going to try it. Don't let them do that. Tell me more. This is somebody that's unexpected, that the turmoil and the trouble that they tried to put in your life, that you, you kept overcoming it, and they're shocked by that, okay? They're trying to figure out how to bring more turmoil towards you. You are the divine feminine. This is you working on yourself, doing that healing work, um, attracting new things towards you, just having this glow up and knowing your worth, man. And this person's stressed out because they can't stress you out anymore. No more turbulence, no more tension. And something about this person wanting to start an argument with you. This is someone that is likes to get your emotions all over the place. They're very unstable. They want you to be affected by them and you're not. So they're like having a mental breakdown. This person, the thought of you having somebody new is really irritating this person. This person, you won't fall for their illusions anymore, trying to come back and tell you that they're totally devoted to you and da-da-da-da-da. You're not falling for it anymore. 
And the thought of you having this with somebody else is making this person go cuckoo. They cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'll just tell you that. These are spirit message cards, guys. They're like the universe ones. And I just got these in the mail yesterday. So let's see what you guys get. All right, let me get one for Virgo. Well, that's way too many. Let me just get one. Thank you. Instead of pushing yourself so hard, stop, breathe, and reevaluate. You are doing enough. Even if it doesn't feel like it, don't wear yourself out to the point of exhaustion. It is not worth it. Balance your time more wisely. Resilience is one of the strongest qualities you have. Yes, it is. It has gotten you through so many trials and tribulations in the past, and it will continue to do so. Lean on that inner tower of strength anytime that you need it. You've got this. I'm telling you, you've been through some stuff in your life, and you keep overcoming it. You're very resilient, so don't let anybody tell you that you're not strong, because you clearly are, guys. Okay? But I would not let this person come back. They are so envious of you. They, they thought they had you shredded you down to nothing. And boy, you're proving them otherwise. Keep going, guys. You guys are meant for better things than what this person can provide for you. Leave them in 2023. All right, my beautiful Virgo. Hope this message helped and resonated. I hope you guys have a happy new year. I'll see you guys in 2024. Light and love to you, Virgo. Take care.